This little guy is a fun kinetic sculpture that I designed and 3D printed. He's super cool. He's a pretty jokes little guy. My question is this, instead of controlling him with these little knobs here, is it possible to control him with this? Let's find out. First, we need to understand how this guy works. From here on out, let's call him Rob Bob. The rotation knob is connected through this shaft to this bevel gear. That is then meshed with this bevel gear, which is connected to the head. I use these D shafts for two reasons. The first is that it can be 3D printed easily with the flat side of the shaft on the bed. And the second is once you slide the bevel gear onto the shaft, it's almost as if they're one piece. And this makes it really, really efficient at transferring power from the shaft to the gears. As you turn the rotation knob, the head can rotate side to side. The tilt knob is connected directly to this U-shaped bracket. When you rotate both knobs together, you can tilt the head forwards and backwards. With a little bit of practice, you can actually create some smooth animations. Now, little Rob Bob, would you like some pizza? What about some broccoli? Good man. So in order to control Rob Bob with an N64 controller, we need to be able to turn these knobs automatically. A really easy way to do that is to use some cheap servo motors and a controller board like this Arduino. I designed some parts that can replace the knobs and interface with the attachments that come with the servo motors. I then made these servo adapters and added some tabs to the base. The servo adapters just pop into the base with the servos in it, just like this. Just as a side note, if you want to make your own Rob Bob sculpture, either in mechanical form or in servo form, the files are available for free on my website. The link is in the description below, and it also includes the code and wiring info if you want to do the servo version yourself. Servos are great because all you need to do to control them is send them an angle from the Arduino and they'll move to that position. This only takes one single line of code. All right, the motors are plugged in. So now it's time to figure out how to connect the N64 controller to the Arduino. And as it turns out, it's actually a lot easier than I was expecting. Step one is jam wires into the end of the controller cable and plug them into the Arduino. When looking at the controller plug from the front, the wiring is ground, signal, 3.3 volts. I have my code set up so the controller is connected to pin 12 on the Arduino. Step two is to install a pre-made library for the Arduino that allows it to interface with an N64 controller. With a few lines of code, the serial monitor is spitting out the joystick X and Y values. These values fall between minus 80 and 80. So the last thing we need to do is map the X position of the joystick to the angle of the rotation servo and the Y position of the joystick to the angle of the tilt servo. And luckily, Arduino has a function that does exactly that. Now I can move the joystick side to side and it gets the head to turn and up and down and the head tilts. Oh, but wait, there seems to be a small flaw in the design. As the head tilts, it creates a rotation as well. To solve this problem, remember from the mechanical version that we needed both knobs to move together to get the head to tilt. This means that any rotation of the head will be a function of the tilt angle plus or minus the rotation angle. This sounds complicated, but it actually only requires one extra line of code to make it work. Now you can see when we tilt the head forwards and backwards without rotation, the servo motors are moving in sync with each other. For reference, this is what it looks like when the motor is in its neutral position, it's facing up, and when Rob Bob turns his head side to side, you can see that it rotates about that position. If there's a tilt backwards, for example, and then we rotate the head, the rotation occurs around the new central point of the rotation servo. The same thing happens if we tilt the head forwards and then add a rotation of the head. Yes, problem solved. Now we have full control over this silly robot head. All right, let's try those questions again from earlier. Hello, Rob Bob, do you like pizza? What about broccoli? Hates broccoli. We can even do some fun animations, like when Rob Bob sees a bird, or if Rob Bob sees a cute lady robot rolling on by, Hey Rob Bob, how do you feel about your mechanical little brother? That's what I thought. And this is my personal favorite. This is how Rob Bob feels after a long day of dealing with robots. <laughs> I can definitely relate Rob Bob. From Rob Bob and me, we'd like to give you guys a huge thank you for watching this video. Rob Bob, you've done well today. Give me some fin. 
Noggin. Dude.